I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at PsychicFocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is Backwoods, Kentucky, something strange is going on. So I'd received a question and I had a little narrative with it to help me form my intent and get some clarity on what exactly this person wanted to have an answer to or have an intuitive perspective. So bear with me here. It's a little lengthy, but I think you'll find it really interesting. So it says, I follow some stories of a similar subject and came across an intriguing story in which your input would be valuable. What's going on in Kentucky? The story involves a woman, unexplained encounter while hiking at the Red River Gorge, Kentucky with her husband and friend at night after the park was closed. So the park's closed, they're in there hiking. I'm very open-minded, but I don't automatically assume anonymous stories I read on the internet are completely true. In this case, I believe the woman telling the story is telling the truth. She seems sincere, is open to questions and scrutiny, and is consistent in her search to make sense of what happened. I'm going to provide you with a link to the original Reddit post, which describes the full context of the encounter in several paragraphs. I'll also cut and paste the text of the relevant section, which describes the encounter with an unknown being, as well as photos of the sketches she made of the being. So basically, they're hiking after the park's closed and they come across this creature. They're not sure what they saw, um, but they have posted questions out there basically to see if someone knows what it is. Maybe someone else has had this encounter and that type of thing. So I just took a small part of her narrative um, and I'll move forward here and read her. And this is quoting her. This is her words. Uh, referring to the hiker. It says, now we're hiking down a semi-flattish area compared to the downhill hike we'd been doing. The long fence or handrail or whatever it's called is on our right side. We're in a row walking within reaching distance of this barrier. My husband just stops walking altogether and says, what's that? But the question is more like an alert and I move my headlamp in the direction and I don't see anything at first. Then both of his lights catch a shape. My headlamp catches it and I move the headlamp to center and catch it. While my friend simultaneously finds it in her lights as well. All six lights shine onto it, referring to this being, and kind of reflect off of a light gray creature. It's bent and crouching in a position, kneeling on its right leg and starting to turn towards us. It, it starts to slowly stand and my mind is racing. It looks human, but it's too big. People mistake human shapes for what's actually bears in the woods often, but this is skinny. It is thin, big, almost white. It's so light gray and its skin resembles dolphin skin. There's a shine to it. Our lights get reflected a little when they're on it. It gradually comes to a full standing position in front of us. Its head is long. Its eyes are in a human position on the face in the front, not on the side like an animal's. I could see directly it looking directly at us in our lights. The way it stood so it stands up is intimidating, almost like when a snake raises its head, flexes her necks all crazy to show the prey that they're stronger and smarter. It was like it was stopping stepping up to fight us from crouching then turning to standing in front of us the arms hung down low the hands seemed too long um, its hands had to be by its knees i guess it stood nine feet or so not that far in front of us no hair at all and its head was large as well i couldn't process what i saw and was frozen and so there's a link to the full article on my blog itself if you want to go in and read about this encounter read um maybe people's comments if you want to look at sketches i put a sketch up on the video there's a sketch on my blog too but there is also other sketches that this person made uh, trying to recall this event and get some understanding of what it was that was happening so i read this and i thought about it and what i did was i put myself at the time of this sighting so i'm trying to put myself there to see what i see and I do get that this is a true story. They're describing this event just as they experienced it. And I can feel the confusion followed by this intense fear. So not only am I seeing it and feeling, does this feel honest? Does it feel sincere? I feel the emotions that they felt as well. And what I really want to know is what is in the woods? What is this thing? And I do get that deep in the woods, especially where humans don't typically roam, there's a lot of different interdimensional creatures wandering about. It could be a Bigfoot, it could be a Yeti, it could be all kinds of things. And I see this happens more at night because there feels like a different type of air when there is no sun. It's almost as if it has nothing to do with being hot or cold. It has nothing to do with being 
dark or light. It has to do with the way the air feels in the moonlight, like it is lighter, like, like there's some heaviness during the day that's not there at night, and that makes it easier for interdimensional beings to come and go. So I also got that, even though this person didn't mention it, I felt as though there was something about a moon or a full moon because the surroundings as I looked, they looked to be illuminated, not by a light, but rather moonlight. So then the real question is, was this a true Wendigo type being? Because that's what people were wondering. And I wanna say yes, this wasn't made up and the being that they encountered feels very low dimensional. Uh, there was some kind of vibrational property to it in this location that draws these types of beings. So I wondered, is there some kind of special geology or rocks there? If you know, if you've been there, I would be curious if you could answer it in the comments section. And I see what they see, and as this Wendigo being looked at them, I also hear some kind of a hissing sound, and it appears that the mouth was small and there were some kind of small holes around it, so when air blew through it, it made a hissing noise. I also got that they don't typically attack unless they feel threatened or if they're hunting. If they're just wandering most times they're okay but here's the thing how do you know if it's wandering or hunting i mean to you as you observe it it could look like one and the same so i thought that they weren't really in peril because it wasn't in hunting mode they didn't really know it at the time um so nonetheless they they took caution which is the smart way to approach it and i also get that these beings hate silver it burns them so if you carry it or if you wear it I heard a message that they can smell it and they try to stay away from you. Um, it has nothing to do with the vibration, it has to do with some smell that silver gives off. And that was all I was really able to pick up on. Please feel free to leave a comment below, I'm happy to address it. Maybe you've been there, you've seen something like this, you've been at this location. Uh, maybe you know something about the rocks that you can share. So anything that you have, i love to read your comment and I'm happy to answer. And for now, that's all I have. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. And don't forget to visit me on Patreon. I have my, my link to that in the comment section as well. Um, and take care and hope everybody has a great day. Bye.